Apple's iOS 8 beta was first demoed at WWDC 2014. Today we are going to be taking a look at the consumer features in iOS 8, and there are many of them, so we will not cover everything. But in addition to consumer features, there are also a lot of developer APIs. The Notification Center has a new widget editor which allows users to add and remove built-in widgets and rearrange them. In addition, third-party applications can now display their own widgets in the Notification Center. Notification banners now have interactive controls, such as a button to mark an email as read, or typing a response to a text message. QuickType provides intelligent word suggestions to users while typing. It is context-based, and the more one uses it, the more adaptive it is to your own personal writing style. Sound bites, which are quick audio recordings, can also be sent as messages. This also works for quick video messages. Users can play them back by pressing the play button or by raising the phone to their ear, and iPhone will automatically play the message. The new details panel has several new features, including an all-in-one area to view all of the attachments in a conversation, and the ability to turn on Do Not Disturb mode for an individual conversation. The new camera app has a new timer mode built into it, in addition to new, flexible on-screen controls for adjusting parameters such as exposure. In addition, a new time-lapse mode is also built in. The updated Photos application has nice new features, including Smart Search, a Favorites button, and brand new editing controls. These new editing controls allow for automatic adjustments as a user slides their finger up and down the slider but it also provides access to more manual and fine-tuned controls. Share sheets have an updated look on iOS 8, but more importantly, users can now customize which share sheet services and activities are hidden or visible. Users can also rearrange the order of the icons. Several new swipe shortcuts are built into applications, such as Mail. In addition, a lot of these shortcuts are also accessible on the lock screen for items like Mail Messages. The new Health application can take application data from other health-related apps and accessories and group it all into one convenient view. Developers can use the HealthKit APIs to utilize these features. The new Spotlight is smarter with suggestions and it is more location aware, and it can search items in the iTunes Store. A subtle interface change is that the status bar now automatically hides itself when in landscape mode. Some of the other iOS 8 features include, but are not limited to, Shazam Song Recognition in Siri, Family sharing, which allows other Apple IDs to share content across one another if they're on the same credit card. iCloud Drive is built in. iBooks is now pre-installed in iOS 8, and iOS 8 has third-party keyboard support. In addition, there are over 4,000 new APIs for developers to use to create some amazing applications for the next generation of iOS. So there you have it, a quick tour of the first beta of iOS 8. Revision is the Computer Clan's upcoming largest and most complex film to date. Fund it now on Indiegogo to help make this incredible film come to life. If you do choose to back this project, we promise you, you will not regret it.